might happen 13 a little bit too but i i, I was hoping we have a little more juice uh, you know we didn't we're in the game and we probably have you know barry doesn't you know he doesn't even play much he doesn't play well cardi's in and out you know cam cam mac really stepped up gave us good minutes um and uh, you know we're still there but that's how they've been they've been very resilient all year and, uh, you know i I'm sure I'll go back and watch it and why didn't we do this or that. But, uh, you know, it, it's just I, – I'm just so proud of them and, and happy to coach them. What did you think of the way the game was called? Was it just kind of real tight, not letting a lot of contact go? Well, I thought the first couple were kind of uh, cheap ones, you know, but, it, it, you know, our league doesn't – there's not many fouls called in our league. And, um, you know, you can go through a half and not shoot free throws. And, and you always worry in the NCAA. I, I thought about it. I worried about it. But – um, you know, there were a couple calls here and there. You know, you're always wondering. I th thought Mac on the jump ball, he grabbed, you know, I thought he definitely grabbed his arm from my view. And I think if you watch the video, you'll probably see it. But, you know, he didn't see that. So it, it just uh, went against us. I'm sure there's, the kid drove and we might have tripped him. He fell out of bounds. We got the ball. So maybe that made up for it. There's always things that happen. What have seniors meant to you? I mean, oh, it's unbelievable. I, I just, you know, to be a part of their life, to sit there and, uh, watch them cry like babies. It's so, so sad because they're done. You just hate it to come to an end. Uh, it's gone very, very fast. Um, you know, my, this year's gone fast, four years have gone fast. You know, and it hasn't all been balloons and celebrations, but uh, uh, they, they just, they, they do it the right way. They, you can't, they came here to right, for the right reasons. They're leaving uh, on a, on a, on, with an unbelievable legacy, legacy, and you can't be more proud of them. Oh, I'm sure he'll put his, you know, try, you know, like Barry did last year and see if he can get some work outside. I, I, you know, I'm going to encourage it, you know, just to have that, uh, you know, experience. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We have to deal with it. If he has the opportunity, he's got the opportunity. I've been through this before. Um, you know, you you got you to gotta help them because that's, you know, they come here to get a degree and have a chance to play professional basketball. And if they can play, you know, so it, it's you did your job as a coach. I noticed you were hanging out, shaking everybody's hand off the court. I guess what did that, what did it mean to you to actually get out there and do that? What did you say to them as you were walking off there? Our guys are theirs. Uh, case well, I, I mean, I just wanted to make sure they knew, uh, you know, whether we win or lose, we're there for them. And we appreciate them, and you know, we're not perfect, but they, uh, you know, I just appreciate those guys. It's unbelievable. They're their effort, their preparation, just to coach them, it's fun. Is it always hard when you have a group like this? Yeah, there's, you know, you, and especially, you know, usually you have one senior or two, you know, this, you got three that were, you know, such a tight knit group and they enjoyed each other so much. I mean, you see Barry waiting on Dean, getting his food, cause he can't, you know, he's got crutches. And I mean, that, that stuff is like special. That doesn't happen, especially in this day and age with, Kids really, all they care about a lot is himself. And, you know, to see them, how much they care about our program, our coaches, uh, you know, it's it, it's a special group and it's really hard. I apologize. I'm sure you've already been asked this, but okay. is there regret about not pushing a one two fouls on the guys in the first You know, I, I and you guys have asked before, you know, if we're winning, I'm going to leave them in. And we were winning. And uh, I got close. Perry wanted to go in. He started running to the bench. I put Cardi in. Uh, you know, it, it, we, you know, we made a play. We were up three. We didn't make. They make the big shot at the end of the half. Obviously, that, you know, that's when it comes out to it, it's a big play uh, to get going, uh, get them some momentum going in at halftime. But uh, I thought, if anything, that Barry would be fresh coming in the second half because he's logged a lot of minutes over this, uh, over this season and over his career, the most ever, right? Or pretty close. Yeah. Do you think it's the next season? Who's are you looking forward to? Maybe stepping up. Well, you got your main three are Mac. Mac had an unbelievable game, except for the turnovers, 14-12. Uh, Xavier's had unbelievable moments. Cardi, obviously, you know, you keep them healthy and, and let them develop as a player. Uh, but those other guys, you know, they got it. You know, Mike McGurl's been solid. I thought he tried to do too much today. Uh, you know, he, last year, obviously, uh, those some of those shots went in against Creighton, and he was a superstar and on, being interviewed on CBS. So... Uh, it didn't happen today, but you know Mike's been very, very solid. He guards, he cares, great teammates. So you got a good foundation now. Uh, those other guys really, we're gonna have to, you know, special off season. 
with the guys returning and the new guys coming in. Bruce, I know you're deeply disappointed in the result, obviously, but you seem very uh, like 30,000 feet right now of, of being positive about what this group has done. Is that a learned trait? Is that, or is that a defense mechanism? <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I'll, I won't sleep for a few nights, but I, I do know that, uh, you know, I've done it for 40 years, and, and you know, you got to cherish special moments, and this group has been unbelievable. Uh, to be part of them, to celebrate that championship, that, you know, to do it at home. I wish 13 would have been able to do it at home in a different style. But, uh, you know, there's so much to be uh, joyous about, and all I can do is help those guys because they're, they're really hurting. Uh, I'll hurt. I, I promise you I'll be hurting for a few days. But uh, I'm starting to cramp right now. But, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's it's hopefully I guess I've learned not to be Go spastic after a loss. I, you know, I guess I've grown up as a coach. I know it's, it's so hard not to want to make excuses, but it's hard not to play the, the what-if game with, with Dean. Oh, the they, you know, we're a whole different team. But does that mean you're going to win? You don't know. Dean gets in foul trouble. He actually won't play him last year. He got two fouls right away and didn't get to play the whole first half. And we were still up 10 at half. So, uh, you know, it, obviously, you just – I told you. I mean, I that was my – Every day, my, my last prayer was that they could finish the season all healthy. Uh, two of them did, even though Cam probably, I mean, what he's endured is, is amazing. I wish I could even explain it to you guys. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's uh, those little cartoon books and stuff, the little engine that could, that dude kept chugging up that hill no matter what happened. And, uh, you know, you got to, you got to, you just, you know, you really appreciate them because, a lot of guys wouldn't have wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have continued to play. He had every right to just say, "I'm not playing anymore, Coach. I, I can't deal with all this stuff." Are there any unfortunate similarities of the outcome of the 2013 game? Oh, I don't know. It was a close game against a good team. You know, they were good. Uh, I thought we were ready to play. I don't think that was a question. I, 13, I probably didn't get. You know, I always told you I blame myself. And, that I didn't get them, I didn't get their attention enough to understand how good LaSalle was. But these guys, I think they understood how good uh, you guys helped it, the uh, national media helped it, you know, to get their attention. They realized that we were ready to play. We just, they were just a little better, made a couple plays that we did it.